Yes. Hey, this is Roy from the City Planning Commission. I'm calling you about that University College Avenue crosswalk thing. The University College Avenue crosswalk thing. You know, they, they built a crosswalk over there on College Avenue. You mean the wall thing? Yeah, well, it's a crosswalk. Whatever. What? Okay. You, you were really you were really against it. You sent us uh, this sheet that just said it was stupid and and a bunch of stuff, and said people are going to paint graffiti all over it. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Well, do you remember? Have you forgotten already? No. What's the nature of your call? Oh, I just wanted to gloat and tell you, ha ha, we built it, even though you didn't want us to. Well, that's great. I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you're gloating. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel to lose? It feels great. How about you? Oh, I feel great because I was the winner. I got it built. I was all for this project. I made a bunch of money on it. You know, a oh, bunch, bunch of under the table money. Oh, good. And your name again? Uh, my name is Roy Gerbel. I'm with the city. And, and who are you with? I'm with the city planner. And you made a lot of money on this. Oh, and that's between that's table? that's between me and you. Shh. Okay, what is your phone number? Uh, it's on your caller ID. Don't tell me you don't have caller ID. No, I don't ID. have caller oh, ID. Oh, you're so sir. full of shit. You do too. I beg your pardon? Everybody in America has caller ID. You can't tell me you don't have caller ID. I do not have caller ID on this phone. Okay, well, I well on look on your other phone. It'll be on your other phone. On your extension. Upstairs. Sir, upstairs? I don't know. Wherever your other phone is. I'm just calling... No, to, I don't have caller ID. Okay, I'm just calling to gloat, so I don't really want you to call me back. So it's good. This works out good for both of us. And you're a city planner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we totally built that fucking crosswalk, too. Have you used it yet? No, I haven't. Oh, you should go use it. Okay. And just, um, I don't know, try not to be pissed off your, as you... What is your phone number, Roy? I, I can't tell you, because I don't want you to call me back. No, I'm not going to call you back. Who are you, who you going to call then? I'm going to call someone, someone else at the city planning department. No, no. No thanks. Well, I'll just call the city and find out who, what your phone number is. Well, whatever. You I, said that you were cussing me out on the phone. I didn't cuss you out. Yes, sir, you did. No, I didn't. No. Yes, sir, you did. I didn't even raise my voice. You used, a, Sir, you've used a very obscene language. You well, said you built this fucking thing. Well, yeah, that's yes, not that's did. not cussing you out. That's just me uh, expressing myself. It's freedom okay. of speech, motherfucker. I beg your pardon? It's freedom of speech, motherfucker. Have, have you heard of that? Uh-huh. Or did, did they not have that in the 1800s? Yep, so anyway, Crosswalk is built. If, if anyone graffitis it, we're going to know it was you. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, I am recording this, so just so you know that. Oh, uh, what are you recording it with? My recorder that's on that gets my phone calls. You, you just happen to have a tape recorder hooked up to the telephone. Yep, I do. So you have that kind of high tech equipment, but you don't have a caller ID box. What difference is it to you? I don't know. Just it seems like a huge lie, is all. Okay. Anything else? Ah, uh, no, no, that's all. Sure, I'm glad you called. Yeah, me too. So, uh, neener, neener, we, we built the crosswalk. Who is this? Hey, that is your last name. Butthole. Better hope I don't ever see you face to face, buddy. What the hell is wrong with you? You don't know me, I don't know you. Who are you, you dipshit? What do you mean, bo oh, oh, my? Who the hell you are and have your ass kicked. Mr. Roy? Uh huh. Yep. Uh -huh. You quit. Mr. Roy? Uh huh. Yep. Uh -huh. You
This is the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Roy. Today is May 14th, 2019, and this is episode 553, brought to you by Boca Recovery Center, six-week tenure, FOD87, Brennan, and Kuraz. Those are five of the people that got to hear the hobo sode I did on Sunday where this happened. Which ones are you talking about? The Clarion? The, yeah, the ones that you stole out of my car. Why'd you steal those? Yeah, well, I didn't steal no fucking thing out of anyone's car, bro, and I'll tell you like this, they came out of a car I bought. Oh yeah, right. Don't call my fucking phone with no yeah, right. bullshit, bro. No, nobody I'll has speakers. Peel your fucking dome, bitch. He said he's gonna peel my fucking dome. I don't even know what that means, but I don't like it. Thanks also to the new supporters of the show, like Owen and Shusty Rackleford, Aaron D, and Doctor Thickfinger. Those people are now capable of listening to the Hobo Sodes over on Patreon.com/slash Phone Losers. You know what? I don't have any news. I don't have any announcements. I don't have anything. So let's just get straight into the calls today. Hello? Hello, John? Yeah. Hey, John. Uh, This is uh, Steve Dave from Steve Dave and Associates. I'm the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. Um, My neighbor, Roy. I don't think I have a neighbor, Roy. Oh, yeah. No, he lives in the blue house. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but he passed away uh, last week. Uh huh. No, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he. Uh, Roy. Yeah, Roy in the Blue House. He um, passed away, and he left you. A f- he named you as a beneficiary in uh, in, his, in his will, and he left you a few things. Uh, uh, yeah. What address did, did he live at? Because I live on. No. Uh, no. He- I'm sorry, what's she saying? Is she telling you not to give out information? I'm not a scammer. I'm I'm the attorney for Steve Dave and Associates. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh-huh. Roy's attorney. Yeah. He lives in the blue house. He's on oh. drive. Oh, huh. Anyway, I, 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 um, I, we're, we're going to be delivering some things to you uh, probably tomorrow. Uh-huh. Uh, it's uh-huh. 31 file cabinets full of documents. Hmm. Okay, so something's wrong. Yeah, I, I I didn't I didn't know a Roy. Yeah, he, blue house. He's just your neighbor. Yeah, but we've got uh, thirty one of those really tall metal file cabinets uh, filled yeah. with, filled with documents. We're gonna be bringing bringing those over. There, there's no charge, so you can tell her to shut up. No. Yeah, don't she, talk like that to my wife. Well, she's just acting like yeah, it's... I mean, it's weird, because I, I don't know this Roy, and I don't really want 31 cabinets of paperwork. Well, it's not paperwork, it's it's documents. It's just, um, he, yeah. left, he left some things to a few of the neighbors, and you're just one of them. Like, maybe you uh, waved to him or something, I don't know. He's, he seemed like an eccentric... Can you just tell her to shut the fuck up? I think I called him right now. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where's the blue house at. It's just up the road a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, um, um, I'll take that some information and sure. I'll, I'll call you back. Yeah. You can call yeah, me back, so but the file cabinets are going to arrive tomorrow on the truck. There's yeah. a delivery person. He's uh, making deliveries for several of the beneficiaries. Uh, uh-huh. yeah. I don't know if I want 31 file cabinets. It sounds like a bunch of junk in there. Well, no, it's not junk. Um, it's his. So can I get your name again? Uh, they're they're uh, UFO documents. He was into you know alternative science and stuff. Will you tell her to shut the fuck up? Tell that lady to shut the fuck up, please. Oh, you're not an attorney, then. My wife. Okay, you know what? Hey, attor- attorneys can curse, lady. Tell her to shut the fuck up, jeez. Yeah. So she will so, not shut. You're on the phone. You're on the phone for Christ's sake. 
Tell her to shut the fuck up. Hang on, hang on. Just quiet. Let me get the information. No, don't say quiet. She needs to be told. Yeah, who's Roy? I am not cussing. This man is being very... Yeah, but you're being loud and annoying, and you need to shut the fuck up, lady. Uh, okay, um, so what's what's Roy's last name? Zerbel. Zerbel? Yep, Zerbel. G H E R B I L. Oh my god, tell her to shut the fuck up. Like you G H E R B L. Be like, honey, I'm right. on the phone, not you. You shut the fuck up. Yeah. And um uh, and Roy lived at what address? Uh he's just down the street from you, honey. Tell her to shut up. Will you tell her to shut up? Like, we're trying to talk. We're men talking. Okay. But, yeah, shut up. Roy guy at all. Shut up, lady. Shut up. Okay. Let me get the info. It's not a scam. If we're, we're delivering you things. We're not going to ask for payment, yeah. lady. Just shut the fuck up. Okay. I don't care. We don't want this stuff. Yeah, but I don't really need go, it. Go, go, go to the other room. Well, you need to figure out how to dispose of them. Okay. And he lived in a blue house on Drive. I need to yeah. know the address, though, yeah. It's a 2607 Drive. Okay. Hang up. This guy's phone number. Hang up. Get his phone number and hang up. Okay. T- tell her to shut so up. Roy Just Gerbil. Tell her to shut up. Yeah. Will, yeah. You, t- will you tell? Okay, I will. Learn to talk to your wife. Right. Jesus. <laughs> she needs to shut okay, up. And uh, and can I get your name and uh, contact info? Yeah, this is Steve Dave. I'm with Steve Dave and Associates. Oh, tell her to shut up. I'm trying to give you my phone number. And your phone? It's uh, Steve. 420... Six nine six nine. Six nine six nine. And the, um like I'm not sure I even want I mean I don't want Tell her to shut up. The, shut up, lady, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. So just so shut up, lady. This stuff? Yeah, it it'll be there tomorrow, so sir. Yeah, but I don't no, know. It's no, just it's junk. Not. No, it's it's not it's not if he was it's a, not a junk. UFO guy, especially it's weird. It's not? He left you several things. The file cabinets are Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, just tell her to shut so up. Steve, I'll call you back. She needs to I'll shut up. You, I'll call you back when I have um uh, uh, right. I'll call you back when I have an opportunity. Okay, yeah, yeah, when yeah. she's gone, right? When she goes out for her haircut yep. appointment, maybe call me back then. Hmm. All right. All right, Steve. All, right. All right, have a nice day. Um, uh, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. My my condolences for the wife. <laughs> Man, holy shit, that lady. She just would not shut up. Man, okay, so yeah, today I'm doing yet another idea of G ads. Remember when G ad had his own show? It was called The Art of Phone Larking, and he would just do his ideas on his own show. Well, now he doesn't have a show, and he just messages me ideas all the time on Skype. And this is one of the latest of his. He said, I need to call people and leave them things in my will. And I actually tried that a few times. That call you just heard was my third call. I think I'm going to delete the ones from before that one because they were just weird and awkward because I called as Roy saying, hey, I just did my will this week and you're in it. I think it's better if we have like someone in between Roy and the beneficiary. And I just now made a couple of posts, one on the PLA Facebook group and one on the Phone Losers Twitter. And I posted, Roy and his lawyer are calling up neighbors today to let them know that he's left them things in his will. What's the most bizarre things that Roy could leave to people? And I've already gotten a ton of answers on Twitter. I think on the Facebook, too. The file cabinet thing, that was mine. Someone named Glory Hole to My Grave says his podcast and the responsibility that goes along with it. Screw Loose says jars of vintage peanut butter from the 1998 Mill Creek Washington Street Fair. Okay. A uh, sample of Michael Jackson's feces. That's from Guido. Chamberlain's original birthing forceps. That's from Rickson. And he has a wiki link. I don't think I want to see that. It's probably terrifying. Drake says all 50 of Roy's children 
and he will have to take over child support payments for all 30 of his baby mamas. That Roy, he got around. Man, there's so many suggestions on here. An extensive pornography collection, a bunch of beanie babies without the tags. And that's just Twitter over on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash go away PLA. There are apparently 55 suggestions, like seasons 3, 4, and 6 of The Golden Girls on VHS, an autographed picture of Carrot Top, his debt, a collection of bed bugs, his Radio Shack free battery club card, that's from Mr. Biggs, a picture collection of the changing table in every public restroom he's visited, that's from Mr. Polar. One million dollars buried somewhere that you give him vague clues as to where it is. That's from Max Power. The first clue can be ye intruders beware. Crushing death and grief. A parrot that only says happy ninth birthday slut. His colonoscopy machine. Season four of the Highlander TV show on DVD. Mustache clippings of the late actor Burt Reynolds. Man, so many suggestions. It just goes on and on. I don't think there's any way I'm going to get to all of these, but I set it up as a poll. So hopefully people are going to vote and put the very best ideas up on top. And I could just remove them as they get used. So don't be offended, everyone. When I remove your idea, it just means I used it. Cardboard cutouts of Jared Fogel, <laughs> Bill Cosby, and Jerry Sandusky. That one's from Glenn. All right, let's call some more people. I don't think anyone's going to be as awesome as that lady, though, that just wouldn't shut the fuck up. I think that's going to be the best call of today's show. I may as well just quit. Make this a hobo sode with one call. That lady needed to calm the fuck down. She obviously wore the pants in that family. Washington State has now legalized composting dead people. But I think I've smelled some people in this state who already have a jump on this law. <laughs> what is this? Leave us your composted message at the sound of the earthworms crawling in and out your snout. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, sir? That was the weirdest message I've ever heard in my 23 years of telemarketing. Hey, pick up the phone. Pick up, pick up, pick up. All right, I hung up. I hope he picks up someday on a future call. Hello? Hello, Jerlyn? Yes. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with Steve Dave and Associates. I'm the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. You know Roy over in the Blue House? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, he uh, passed away last week. I don't know if you're aware of that. But, no, I didn't. Oh, okay, yeah. He, he left you a few things in his will. And we were going to deliver those uh, here this, this week. We're going to just br okay. bring them on over to your place. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's going to be quite a bit of stuff. Um, like, there's uh, a bunch of women's baseball memorabilia. Are you sure you have the right person? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, your, your Gerilyn on Avenue? Yes. Yep, yep, you're definitely the right person. Uh, he put you in his will. This this address, so, this phone wait. number. And where does he live? Uh, he, he was on the same street. He, he was just down the street a little bit in the Blue House. He left stuff to a bunch of random neighbors. I didn't even know him. You didn't know him just a little bit? Like you didn't wave to him or anything, maybe? Well, what other neighbors did he leave it to? Uh, quite a few, uh, about 20 of them. His house was just filled with, uh, you know, just collectibles and antiques. Uh, you've got all kinds of stuff here. Like he's giving you seasons three, four, and six of the Golden Girls on VHS. And you're oh, yeah? Yep, you're getting an autographed picture of Carrot Top from the eighth grade. Okay. Uh, you're, you're, you're getting uh, his debt. We're signing that over to you. And uh, he was a breeder of um, insects and bed bugs. He's got uh, five aquariums full of bed bugs. Like a terrarium type thing. So you're going to want to keep the lid on those pretty tight. Yeah, I don't want those. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe you can put them up on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. He's also giving you his uh, Radio Shack free battery club card. 
And what other neighbors has he given to? Um, I, I, I don't know, just a, a bunch of them. Um, Kayleen, Timothy, Pamela, Laura, Xander. Do you know any of those people? I don't. That's why I was wondering if you are the right person. Oh, no, it's definitely you, Gerlin on 16th Avenue. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, we'll probably be there tomorrow with, uh, we're going to bring the truck by and we'll just uh, bring all this stuff up to you. And if I don't want it? Uh, put it on Craigslist. At least you're right, not- Do I have a number that I can, I can check this out? Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the number to my office here is 420-6969. But if you look in the paper, yeah, if you look in the paper uh, last, um, I don't remember which day it was on. His his uh, biography is in there, his obituary, I mean, and uh, it mentions in there that he, he gave away uh, all of his belongings to his beloved neighbors. And what was his name, Roy? Yep, Roy Gerbil. G- uh, G-E-R-B-I-L? Yep, B-I-L. And you are? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm from Steve Dave and Associates. At least you're not getting what the last people got. They got 31 file cabinets full of uh, UFO files. Yeah, but I don't know this person. Yeah, he, he's just a generous person. He just <laughs> decided to give all of his uh, possessions to his neighbors. I guess he didn't have any family left. I know, but I just want to make it sure it's legit. <laughs> oh, no, it's completely legit. All of his bed bugs are yours now. Yeah, no. So you're going to have to research those on the internet and find out what they eat. I have no idea. I mean, you know, other than people. Yeah, I, yeah, I live in a condo. I can't take all that stuff. Yeah, well, you know, maybe okay. you can make some money of it. I mean, you've got an autographed picture of Carrot Top from 8th grade. That's something. Okay, Steve. Um, and so you, this is your phone number, 420-6969. Yeah, yeah, that's the direct line to our um, our our a, a, a attorney business here. Okay, well, I just need to check this all out. So you're going to call before you come? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that for you. But the the truck should be there tomorrow. I know they're loading it, loading it up right now, but... It's going to take him a while. He's got a lot of stuff. And again, I live in a condo, so I'm not sure I can take it. Okay, well, we can just leave it out on the lawn. Uh, I don't have a lawn. Well, you know, whatever, the sidewalk on the stairs. Okay, all right. All right, so, uh, you know, st- start looking on eBay, see how much an uh, autographed picture of Carrot Top goes for. You might be rich, for all oh. you know. Yeah, I think I'm getting a bunch of junk. <laughs> no, no, these are live, live bed bugs. There's got to be thousands of them in these terrariums. Yeah, well, no. All right, thank you. All right, I'll, yep, bye. we'll see you tomorrow, probably. Okay, all bye. Right, bye. <laughs> Well, it's no fun if they don't get upset with me. She's more just like, oh, shit, what do I do? Hello? Hello, Lena? Yeah. Hey, it's, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with Steve Dave and Associates. I'm uh, the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. You, you know Roy that lives down the street? He was in the Blue House. Nope. <laughs> I uh, don't know him. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, yeah, he he um I, he actually died last week. He left a lot of uh, his possessions to random neighbors, and you're named in his will. This is Lena McGuire, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna um, be stopping by tomorrow with a truck. Uh, we've got um, quite a bit of stuff to leave here, leave there for you. Really? Yep. Yep. Um. <laughs> Let's see. You're you're gonna get. What is it? Well, you're gonna get. Um, it's he, he was a collector. Uh, you're gonna get jars of vintage peanut butter from the 1998 Mill Creek Washington Street Fair. Okay. 
Um, Chamberlain's original birthing forceps. Uh-huh. Um, he's leaving you all 50 of his children, and some of them are still minors. You're going to have to pay for their child support. <laughs> all A right. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> samurai sword with notches scribed in the hilt for each person killed with it. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. I don't think he killed anyone, but, you know, it's like an old old sword. Right, right. Uh, you're going to get an urn of his ashes. Okay, sweet. And three dozen floppy disks of digital photos that appear to have photos of your house every day over the years. But he did this for every nice. neighbor. It's not, it's not creepy. He did this for all the neighbors. Right, no, definitely not creepy. That sounds normal. And I think that's it for you. Um, we're going to be making the deliveries all day tomorrow. So you'll be home tomorrow? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. All right. We'll be over there with the truck. We might, right. we might have to make a couple different deliveries because, you know, it's a, it's a lot of stuff in this truck. We might have a hard time right, getting yeah. to it all. Yeah, for sure. No, it makes sense. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, yeah, you, sounds you, good. See you have a tomorrow. nice day. Uh, rest in peace, Roy. Yeah, love him. Miss him yep. already. He was the best. Yeah, All agreed. Right. Yep, yep. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Bye. Steve Dave, away! Yeah, I don't think she was buying it. I think the child support thing may have clued her in. Thanks a lot for that, Drake. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Roostad? Yes. Hey, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with uh, Steve Dave and Associates. I'm the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. Do you know Roy that's over there in the blue house? On No. Okay, well, um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but he actually died last week. He was old. And um, he left you a few things in his will. Oh, okay. So we're going to be dropping those off tomorrow we've got a few deliveries to make there in the neighborhood uh okay um i will be home in the afternoon okay all right no we we can do that i'll mark this down um he had an extensive pornography collection and a bunch of uh there's several boxes here of beanie babies Okay. Um, there's a jar full of baby teeth, a room full of non-winning scratch cards. That's probably going to take a couple of trucks to get there. There's um, voodoo dolls of all the neighbors. And let's see what else is on this list. Uh, 4K ultra high definition blu-ray copy of cop and a half and daryl hey she hung up i guess she's not a fan of cop and a half and daryl jeff weinberg suggested those so you ruined the call jeff thanks a lot god damn it i hope i'm not leaving too many things to people maybe i should just you know maybe three things tops Hello. Hello, William. Yeah, yes. Hey, it's Steve Dave. I'm with uh, Steve Dave and Associates. I'm the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. He lives, he lived down the street from you a little bit. They're Roy. On, they're on a... Hmm. Yep. Doesn't ring a bell. Okay, well, um, he actually died just last week. I guess you weren't aware of that then? Nope. Okay, he left you a few things in his will. Okay. Uh, he left you... Um, we're we're going to bring it over tomorrow. We're, we've got a truck. He left things to a few different neighbors. Uh, but he left you 100 copies of his book, How to Lose Weight the Patterson Way. Okay. I have no use for those. Okay. Well, they, they're yours. Uh, maybe you can sell them or something. It's a weight loss book. Uh, he had a an extensive collection of Kenny Loggins 
uh, albums, CDs, records, cassettes, uh, live and concert VHS tapes. Hmm. Yep, all that's yours. Roy. Gosh. Yeah, Roy Gerbil. Roy Gerbil. Yep. Hmm. Uh, he's left oh, you I'm, his. I'm a... Huh? I'm away from the house right now. I'm walking down the mall talking to you. So. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, well, we won't be there till tomorrow. We, we're loading up the truck today. We're going to make the deliveries tomorrow to the various neighbors. Um, okay. You're going to get three barrels, like 55-gallon barrels of fool's gold. Like I need that. Wow, yeah. I have no place for that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he, he left uh, it to you. I guess back in 1958, he thought it was real, but he just kept it because he uh, didn't he didn't know what to do with it. So maybe you okay. can maybe you can use uh, it as glitter or something, you know, on some crafts. Yeah, yeah I don't. Yeah, can you call me back in a um, maybe a half hour or so? Sure, sure. And I'll be if, home by then. If I forget, then we'll just see you tomorrow with the truck. We're gonna. Bring a bunch of stuff okay, in. Okay, well, I, I, have a dental, I have a dental appointment tomorrow. Oh, okay, so. we can just leave it out there, out in front. Man, the... Well, the, that 55-gallon drums are kind of... Yeah, do you have a dolly? Big things to leave out in front. Do you, I have a dolly, but... Oh, uh, perfect then. I still don't know what I'd... I don't know what I'm going to do with them, so... Yeah, use them for um, crafts. I live in a small apartment, so... Oh, okay. Um, oh, wait, man, the, this colonoscopy machine is pretty huge. Do you have room for that? I don't know if he realized it was a prank or he's just like, fuck this shit. I'm hanging up. Maybe it won't happen if I hang up. Man, there are so many choices on this list now. I took a break and I ate some lunch and now I'm back making calls and it looks like there are 66 more options. I guess that means like 70 options. And I haven't even looked at Twitter yet. A German M4 Sherman tank from War World War II. That's by Brendan. A mobile meth lab. The Situation Room. His Pet's Ashes. Weed, I'm High. Wow, thanks for that, Brendan. That's nice that you're high. I'm really glad you announced that to us in this poll. Hey, also during lunch, I created a bit shoot channel for phone losers. It's kind of a YouTube site, but I don't know, powered by Bitcoin, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just felt I needed to create one. So if you go to bitshoot.com slash phone losers, there's my new channel. I put the latest snowplow show on there. Hello, this is Elaine. Hey, Elaine. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm from Steve Dave and Associates. I'm the attorney. Hi. Hi I'm the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. You know, uh, okay. he lives in the blue house, you know, the spooky house. No. Oh. oh, oh, across the fence. Yeah, yeah, that's him. Okay, okay. Um, he's... I've never met them. Oh, really? That's odd then, because he, yeah. he actually left his house to you in his will. What? Yeah, um, this is Elaine on drive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the condition that you and your husband spend one night in the house alone. And we needed to do that this week, you know, so we can just get the paperwork wrapped up. What? Is this a joke? <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't kid about something like this. I'm an attorney. Um, yeah, he, he's just, he died last, uh, let's see, what was it? It was the, the last Wednesday, and his funeral's already happened. I just, I, I, I figured you knew him if... He left his house. No, too. I've never, never met him before ever. Okay, well, he, he just, uh, huh? Yeah, he just wants you, you and your husband, to spend one night in the home alone, uh, one full night there, to make sure you can handle it. I guess I don't, I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what that means either, because hmm. that's I, I've seen cars there, so I'm assuming you know he has a wife, right? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, there's a lot of cars there this week because they're, um, they're starting to pick up some of his personal belongings. I just saw him check the mail the other day. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Yep. 
But uh, I literally have never met him or his wife ever. We are talking about like, the, the the same Roy, right? The the one in the spooky house. I, I, I don't know if you would call it spooky. It's just across the, from our fence. Yeah, well, he, he his claims in here are that it's haunted, and he needs someone oh. that can take the house that can deal with the nightly occurrences. So that's why you and your no, husband. No, that's totally not me. <laughs> Yeah, you, you and your hu- well, you, you and your husband need to spend one night in the house alone, without anybody no. else. No, I don't do paranormal shit. Well, like I, mm-mm. come on, it's probably not real. He's he's a crazy old man. Oh no, mm-mm. you got to trust people when they say shit like that. No, <laughs> there, there's like, a reason that they say that. <laughs> yeah, it's because they don't live in reality, and they think ghosts are real. That's the reason. I'm sure it's fine. He just says you need to spend one night in his spooky old house alone with your husband. He's crazy. It, it could be fun. That's crazy. Your husband will be there to, no, to not, protect you. I, I would not really think that's fun. What's that? <laughs> I don't really, that doesn't really sound like fun to me. Yeah, but to get a house out of it. That's the condition. You have to spend, you have to spend one night there why alone. Why would I want his house? I don't want his house. Because he has family. I'm sure he has family. There's no reason that he would leave the house to someone he's never met before. From what I understand, he didn't get along that well with his family. So he's leaving the house to you and your husband. Or to you specifically. how does he even know our name? Uh, Well, he's your neighbor. But I don't... I didn't even know his name. Yeah, but you've waved to him and stuff before. (laughs) That doesn't mean I know him. Yeah, I don't. He's he's a weird old man, or he was a weird old man. He's no longer with us, unfortunately. But you get the house and everything in it, but on the condition no. that you spend. What if I don't? What if I don't want it? Um, well, just don't spend one night there alone, and then it will default to the next person. There's more than one person. We could just let it default to the next person. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the next per- I guess they live uh, two more houses down from you, the Bakers. Okay. okay, I don't know the Bakers. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we, he doesn't know the I'm either. I'm on, like, first name basis only with my neighbors. Like, I don't know anybody's last names. Oh, I see. Yeah. We take each other cookies, but I don't, I don't know their last names. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Are you sure you don't want a free house, though? All you have to do is spend one... I'm positive I don't want a free house. Well, shouldn't you at least talk to your positive. husband? Talk to the man of the house about it? No. I'm the man of the house. Oh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> it's I know it's funny, but it's true. I see. Um, yeah, no, I definitely do not want his house. Okay. I really is, don't. is it just because you have to spend one night in it with your husband? No, it's because I, I wouldn't even, I have no interest in taking anybody's house. Like, you, I really, truly well, you're don't. not taking it. That's his last wish. Yeah, His no, dying wish. You, you really want to go against no. a dying man's wish? I know I'm a horrible person, but it's definitely not a house that I that I I don't want to the burden of dealing with all of the stuff and it's, trying to sell something. I don't want that. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's worth a lot of money. No, it's not. Have you seen it? Uh, I've seen pictures the of back, it. I look at the back porch every day, and it is not pretty. Yeah. There's also, a lot of stuff back there. Also, it's haunted. Yeah, but maybe it's valuable stuff. No, it's not. There's a toilet in the backyard. Maybe it's a valuable toilet. So, it's not valuable. <laughs> Look, I'm not supposed to tell yeah. you this, but underneath the home, there is a large series of tunnels. Yeah, no, and, totally not cool with that either. Well, no, they they <laughs> they go for quite a ways. They 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 go all the way underneath your house. Oh, that's fun. And it's a really large property if you look at it from that perspective. Mhm. So you get the house above, and then all the tunnels underneath, underneath the whole mm-hmm. neighborhood. That's insane. Yeah, but I mean, it's like so, so much square what, footage. Okay. Yeah, no, totally not totally not cool. You don't have Can I have um You don't have to spend the I night your, You don't have to spend the night in the tunnels, just in the house. No, I'm not spending the night 
in a tunnel, I'm not spending the ho- a night in their house you, either. You could even barricade off the tunnels while you sleep. No, I'm good. To keep any, anything from getting in. No, I'm good. Can okay. You, can you tell, remind me your name one more time? Sure, this is Steve Dave. I'm a S- Steve Dave and Associates. I'm a law firm here in okay. town. Okay. And if you well, change your I mind... Will, uh, what's, your, what's your phone number? And I'll... I'll relay the comedic message to my husband. and uh, well, It's not comedic. It's completely real. But uh, It's 360-420-6969. Oh, that's funny. What's that's f- really funny. What's funny? <laughs> this is... Uh, this is a really funny joke. No, I'm not kidding, ma'am. I'm an, a, I'm an attorney. No, not with that phone number. You're not. Th- that's a completely normal phone number. What are you talking about? Let <laughs> me look at that number. That is not a legitimate phone number. Four twenty. Hot. I don't know what you're talking about. Right? Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. Maybe it's because I'm not a stoner. I'm not a stoner either. Then why, what, what are you seeing? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is really funny. I'm okay. not sure who put you up to it, but it's a really funny prank. I, nobody put me up to this. I mean, Roy Gerbel put me up to it because he's the old man that died. That's not and... his name. Yes, it is. That's not his name. Yeah. No, it's not. You said you don't even know him. I've looked him up before. Oh, that's... Because I was wondering if he had died. That, that's weird. Wait, what do you mean you thought he died? I hadn't seen anybody at their house for like a month. And so I looked them up to see who owned the house and looked to make sure there was no, nothing in the obituaries. I was a concerned neighbor. Well, he really did die this time. It's like you were foretelling the I future. I don't believe you because that's not his name. So you believe in ghosts, and but you don't, but you don't believe in me? I, I do not. Who put you up to this? Because if, if that's like all true, then you, you have like legal documentation of course it's here in the office you, okay. you guys are welcome to come down and take a look at it yeah where's steve, your office located steve dave and associates here in look i gotta get going yeah. if, you're, if you're not even going to take the house i gotta call the bakers yeah you should definitely call them all right i'm calling them have a nice day all right enjoy not bye. having a brand new house yeah no i'm good all right bye i'll be sure to stop by there tonight and and uh, say hello to them introduce myself what to the ghosts yeah all right enjoy that all right all right bye elaine bye pranker pranker what's she talking about damn it i need to get another angry wife in the background to yell at me a bunch like that first lady so that idea was from luke la burn luke on twitter his house on the condition that you spend one night in it completely alone. Maybe I shouldn't have said her husband can come with her. It has to be just her. That's what I'll do on the next one. Seemed like she was buying it at first, though. Hey, the Baileys can't come to the phone. Leave us a message at the tone. That's right. Say, so don't be a creep. Leave us a message after the... That was great. I am really coming across some amazing answer machine messages today. I bet you he was wearing a sideways hat when he made that message. Hello? Hello, Leslie? Yes. Hey, this is Steve Dave. I'm the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. You know, he lives down the street from you on on the Blue House. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, okay. Um, He died last week. He left you his house. In in his will, Roy. Yeah, Roy. No, I don't think so. Who are you? Uh, I'm. This is Steve Dave from Steve Dave and Associates. I'm his attorney. And um, um he, he left you his house, but on the sole condition that you had to spend one night in it completely alone. It's kind of a spooky old house. Uh, I I don't think that's kosher. What do you mean? Uh, that this sounds hokey to me. Hokey? No, he's just. I don't just know a, who you're talking about. He's just an eccentric old man. It's Roy Gerbel. He lived just down the street from me on place. 
Like, do, do you know the blue uh, house that's across the street and down the road a little bit? No. Ah, well, you should drive down there and look at it. It's yours if, if you'll uh, be willing to spend one night in it completely alone. No, I think this is a scam. How would it be a scam? He's trying to give you his house. All right, I guess I'll give up on that one. I should have been like, how's it a scam? We just need you to pay $5,000 in taxes and it's all yours. Just give me your credit card number. Hello. Hello, Ronald. Who's, who's asking? Uh, me. I, you haven't let me introduce myself yet. Uh, I'm, this is Steve, Dave. I'm the attorney for your neighbor, Roy. He lives down the street from you. On um, I don't know, uh, Roy. Okay. Would you like me to tell you what I am calling about? Sure. Okay. He died last week. Uh, that was a pause, so you could say, oh, that's terrible, but whatever. And uh, he left you something in his will. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> what do you mean there's no way? He's a weird, eccentric old man. He left several things to various neighbors. You're the first one that's been an asshole to me. Fucking scammers. They make everyone suspicious of every phone call that happens now. Hello? Hello, Mr. Rob. Oh, my name is Mr. Oh. My wife is named Mr. Rob. Oh, okay. Well, that's what, what can I, was, I do for you. I was calling for Rebecca. I'm the attorney of Roy Gerbel. He's one of your neighbors down the street in the Blue House, you okay. know? They're on. Blue House on. Yeah, I don't know if you're aware of no this. no idea. Yeah, he actually died last week. He and, did? Yeah, and he's he left his dog to Rebecca. We we're wondering if we could bring that by. Maybe. What? His dog. What? He, he has a what do dog. It's a Doberman Pinscher. He, he left it to Rebecca. He did? Yes, he did. Are you sure? I am positive. Oh, let me call Rebecca first. We already have three little ankle biters. Oh. And I don't know if that, that he's going to get along with oh, three no, little this, ankle he, biters. He's a very friendly old dog. Um, yeah, we, just, we we just we got to do something with them. Like if Rebecca doesn't want them, we might have to just put them down. Oh, I don't want to do that. Nope. Okay, uh, uh, I'll call. Well, she's in the middle of a doctor's visit right now. When would you like to bring the dog by? Uh, we could do tomorrow if you'd like. And uh, well, it, what time? Uh, Any time you want. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have I can have my assistant bring him on over. Uh, and he comes okay. with, you know, all of his stuff. Or he has a cage and food and just all kinds of stuff. It's completely free. There's no charges or anything. It's just a free Doberman uh -huh. Pinscher. What's, uh, what is a standard size Doby or? Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know what, I've never owned one before. I don't, I don't like, it's, it's kind of <laughs> big. <laughs> yep. The Doberman but Pinscher and the, okay. and the pet goose. So, yeah, we can drop those off tomorrow for you. Did, was she uh, good friends with Roy, I guess? I don't know. what the, You're saying Roy? What was Roy's last name? Uh, Gerbel. He lived, Gerbel? Can yeah. you spell that for me? Uh, G-E-R-B-I-L. And uh, he, he lived down there in the 5,000 block of Maine, Northeast. Can you give me the actual number? 5,000 what? Oh, yeah, it's uh, 5203. I guess he would have been across. 5203. Yeah, he would have been acro across the street from I wonder if, Rebecca. Huh. You know, well, we're, I'm, he's an O across. You're talking about the blue house directly across from us? I'm at 6912. So that wouldn't be it. Oh, no, no, it'd be a little ways I'm down. Not. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, Maybe right. they were secret lovers or something. I'm not really sure. I, I don't... I'm going to have to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah. I, I doubt that very seriously, but... Well, I'm just... Okay. I, I'm just throwing uh, suggestions he said, he said, out there. Weird. <laughs> yeah. I, she had, she never even made any mention of him. Hmm. Okay. Very well, suspicious. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bring him by, and uh, nothing else will... We'll find a we'll find another 
okay. forever home for them. Okay, for the Doberman okay. Pinscher and we'll the Goose. Doberman and the what? And the Goose. There's a Goose also. Go uh, uh, no, wait a minute. A, 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 a Goose, a bird Goose? Yeah, yeah, one of those Goose things. Lives around the water, I think. A line, a live goose? Y yeah, alive. Uh, I guess the goose and the Doberman Pinscher, they're the best of friends. They can't be separated. Uh, I've got to talk to Rebecca because we could possibly take the Doberman, right? That goose wouldn't last two minutes around my little ankle biters. Oh, no. The, they, they, they're, they're both very well-tempered animals you, you'll see when we bring them over and the, the, we have all the uh, accessories for the goose also are you okay I, uh, let, let me uh, what's your number what you got a number i can call oh, you oh yeah at? yep my number here at the office is four five two three and your name again uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with Steve Dave and Associates. Steve Dave. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Sure. Steve Dave and Associates. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. We'll see you tomorrow, then. About what time? Uh, oh, what time is best for you? My assistant can bring it over anytime. Uh, I can, uh, yeah, I'm here pretty much all day. Uh, morning is probably best, late morning. Okay, so 10 a.m.? 10 would be fine. Okay, okay. we'll see. Thank you. see you then. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, he's a nice man. He's going to take in the, the Doberman and the Goose. And he's going to be eyeing Rebecca suspiciously from now on. Like, who was this Roy home wrecker? I thought he was completely not believing me at the very beginning. But now, I, I think he actually thinks he's the, the new owner of a dog and a goose, who are the best of friends. Jay Quinn on Twitter says his pet goose. If you don't want it, we'll have to put it down at the animal shelter. I was going to go with just the dog, but then I went ahead and threw your goose idea in there. I like this idea of Max Powers about the million dollars buried somewhere, and you give him vague clues as to where it is like turn it into a weird game like we've seen in movies. Or maybe do it like Brewster's Millions, where they have to spend $10 million in a week to get $100 million. I don't remember the amounts from the movie, but say they can only have the $100 million if they spend $10 million. Oh man, that guy's going to be waiting for a dog delivery tomorrow. Hello? Hello, Kaylee? Yes? Yeah. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm the attorney for uh, Roy Gerbel. He's your neighbor. He lives there on Drive. Oh, sure. And um, were uh, you, did, did you know that he died last week? No. Oh, yeah. Yep, he's, he's no longer with us. And um, he, he, left you some, he, he left you something in his will. Well, that's weird. Things I didn't know him. Yeah, he he left a few miscellaneous things to a few neighbors. Um, but he left Okay. He left you 23 million dollars. Hmm. No, I'm just yeah, I find that hard to believe. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding about that part. No, actually it's a bunch of uh taxidermied animals. Basically a room oh. full of them. We can bring them over tomorrow if you'd like. Yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, no, he left them to you in his will. It's his dying wish. He wanted you to have his taxidermied animals. Well, I'm and not really a big fan of taxidermied animals, and this kind of seems like a bullshit call, so I'm good. Well, may, do you have any taxidermied animals? How do you know if you're a fan of them or not? Mm, not a big fan of dead things, so I think I'll be fine. Well, they're not that. dead. They're well, kind my of. My husband's not a big fan of they're, them. They're basically undead. Yeah. They're taxidermied. Yeah, again, I'm going to state very clearly that I'm fine. And they're not for your husband. Quit bringing your husband into this. These are for you only. He doesn't know your husband. He named you specifically in his last will and testament. He wants you to have his entire collection of taxidermied animals. There's over 30 of them. 
Yeah, I'm still okay. Don't want them. Thanks for the bullshit call, though. Okay, we're really going to bring them over, and we're just going to leave them on the, the steps. If you come anywhere near my house or drop anything off at my house, I will take out my gun and shoot you and call the police. You're not allowed but to go around shooting you. people just for making a delivery. Well, so, you know, don't really want you putting dead animals on my door. And if I go to jail for shooting a creepy-ass guy calling me, I'm really okay with it. Well, it's, 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 it's not going to be me delivering it. It's going to be one of my assistants here at the uh, attorney's office. That's so fine. If you wanna, they can die, too. All right. I'll let him know to, uh, you know, be expecting <laughs> death tomorrow when he delivers your taxidermied animals. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Well, have have a nice evening. Is that all? You good? Enjoy being a grouchy old bat. Yeah, you too. Bye. That was an idea from Mr. Moe on Twitter. Taxidermied animals. Gad wants me to say an antique dildo your great-great-grandmother carved on her covered wagon. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, James? Yes. Hey there. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm the attorney for uh, Roy Gerbel. He's a guy that lives on your street. Um, or, okay. For, for who that lives on my street? Uh, Roy Gerbel. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this. Oh, but he, Ray? Yeah, yeah. He died last week. He did? Oh, no, not... He lives next door to me. No, not Ray. Roy. R-O-Y. Oh, Roy. Roy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that was, that was a close one. Yeah. Yep. yep. Roy, where where is he on? Um, he he's in the two thousand block. Oh, okay. O over there, twenty seven. Um, twenty seven. Quite a ways there. down then. Yeah, but uh, anyway, he left you something in his will. He left me something in his will. Yep. Yep. He has your name and address and phone number on here. Um, I don't. You're probably aware of this, but he did a pretty successful podcast called the Snowplow Show. Um, called what? The Snowplow Show. It's about snowplow maintenance and repair, upkeep. Oh, no, that's and, totally unfamiliar to me. Oh, yeah. Well, um, he wants you to have the rights to all of the Snowplow Show stuff. Um, you, you can have the advertising revenue that he gets t from it. And um, just on the condition that you continue making new shows, new episodes of the Snowplow Show. Okay. So basically, you would just That's do a podcast. Kind of weird. Yeah, you'll just do, be doing basically I like mean, a radio I don't, show. I don't even know this guy. Yeah, well, you know a little something about snowplows, probably. You can probably just kind of pick it up. He just he wanted you to have no, it. Oh, I don't know anything about snowplows. <laughs> ah, you know, I listened to a couple episodes, and it didn't really seem like he did either. So maybe it, it probably wouldn't be that difficult. To pick it okay, up. Okay, so we probably need to talk face to face. Okay, sure. Yeah, you can come into my office. Um, I'm uh, Steve, Dave, and Associates here in. Okay. Really, this is so weird. I mean, I don't even know this person. So you I've don't, never had any connection with him. You as don't know far as I know. Roy over in the Blue House. Roy, in the Blue House. Mm -hmm, yep. And you sure you got the right guy here, Jim? Oh yeah, it says right here, uh, Jim, thirty six Avenue, and he wanted you to have the rights to his entire podcast library. He's done over five hundred and fifty episodes now, and he just wants someone wow. to to you know just carry on with it. He wants to pass on the torch to someone else, and that's going to be you. You're the only person he listed on here as. You know, someone he would want okay. to take over the show. So, so you'll. I, I need to come and talk to you face to face. Okay, yeah, you'll you'll basically just be um, you know you'll be on the air. It's a live show, two hours a week. You'll be taking calls about snowplow maintenance and repair issues and stuff like that. And you probably okay, want to do I need like to come a talk to you face to face because I don't know if I have the time or the intelligence or whatever to do that. Uh, you can probably just so, watch some um, tutorials on YouTube or something to pick up on it. Can't, how hard can it be, really? Well, 
um, I don't know, but I, that's not really something I want to do. Yeah, well, you get so, advertising revenue. He makes over $30 a month from advertisements. Okay. And that's all yours now. Well, wonderful. Um, I don't believe I have to accept it, though, do I? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, if you want to go against a dying man's wishes, that's completely up to you. Yeah, I I need to come talk to you. Okay, sure. Do you want my and address? And really talk a little more about what this is and what it's about. Okay. And and I do a lot better face to face because I I'm very hard of hearing. I see. Yeah. I mean, I've heard everything you've said, but I'm still kind of taking it in here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe get my wife involved. Um, yeah, it could be a couple's so podcast. When, you could both do it together. Uh, like she could sit there on the Google and research snowplow stuff and you give the answers to the callers. I, I need to know who this is and how I knew him, how he chose me and what's going on there. So Yeah, you know, you're the second uh, person you? you're the second person I've talked to today that didn't seem to know him. I think he's just leaving things to people around his neighborhood. Yeah. Huh. Well, it's the darndest weird. thing. I'd like to know a little more about him and a little more about maybe, I don't know, just listen to a couple of the podcasts and see what it's all about. Oh, yeah. I mean, it might yeah, be something I'm not even, uh, I wouldn't even support. So. Well, oh, no, it's not like it's a Nazi uh, podcast. What's that? I said it's not like it's a Nazi podcast or anything. No, no, no. But I don't know what it is. So. Yeah. I, yeah. But that's what I want to find out. He seems so like when can okay. I come see you? Uh, anytime you want. I'm at Fort road and what is your name again uh my name is steve dave i'm with steve dave and associates steven is it yeah yeah no steve dave steve days uh yeah days d-a-y-s okay um and and uh who was who was the guy that passed away uh his name roy? is roy roy gerbil G E R B I L. Uh huh. G E R B I L. D D E R or Z E R? Uh, G G, like Nat. And then E like I. Yeah, I got R, that. R like R one. Z like what now? Uh, the first Z letter. Z like zebra. Uh, no, no, no. The first letter is is G like gnome. Oh, G. Yeah, G. Like George. Like Gnome. Or Nat. Gnome? Yeah, you know, like a Gnome. Yeah, G-N-O-M-E? Yep, that's it. Oh, so gerbil, gerbil like the little animal. Yeah, yeah, but it's pronounced gerbel. He's French, I guess. Okay. All right, and he was at 27 what? 2713. Okay, so I don't need to like set an appointment with you or? Oh, no, no, just come on in. The secretary can have you sign the papers to take over the podcast. What, what are your hours there? Uh, we're here from uh, 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Okay, I'll maybe try to get in there tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thank uh, you. Have a nice day. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, man. This is no good. He, he's going to go to that address that I gave him that probably doesn't exist. And then he's going to look up my podcast and he's going to be pissed at me. I need to defuse this one. Let me call him back. Because he knows my podcast. He knows what the podcast is called. He's going to look it up. And be like, oh, prank calls. Zero, Fuck. six, two, Fuck. seven. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Zero. Hi, it's Jim. Hello, Jim. Yes. Uh, it's Carol. Um, this is Roy's wife. Did he just call you? I'm sorry, what? Uh, this, is, this is Roy's wife. Did he just call you? Who? Uh, Roy, I think Roy's been making prank calls again. I, I'm his wife. He's not dead. I heard him saying he was dead. Um, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm really confused here. I, I can't understand who you are. Uh, my name is Carol. I'm, I'm Roy's wife. We li we Roy's live wife? Yeah, we live here on a... Roy's not dead. Yeah. He's, he's making prank calls again. Oh, okay, so I, who's this person that called me? That was my husband, Roy. He, he was just pretending to be an attorney. He, he, gets, he drinks a lot, and then he just starts making prank calls. It's ridiculous at his age. Are, are you my neighbor? Yeah, yeah, I, I live here on... Uh, we're over in the 2700 okay. block. So that was him that was calling me about this? Yeah, yeah, he's he's uh yeah, he's he's just drinking. Roy is drinking and making prank calls again. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. So it, it was a it was a prank phone call. Yeah, yeah, if he made an appointment with you cuz that's what he likes to do. He he tries to make appointments with people. <laughs> so what's this for road then? What what is it there? I don't know what that is. That's probably just a made up address. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Roy, I'm going to have a talking to with him. Okay. Very good. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you for calling me back. Yeah, so sorry about okay. the call. All right. Thanks. All right. Roy, Bye. Roy, get over here. There we go. It's all fixed now. Even if he looks up my podcast, at least he won't have gone to some fictitious address, which would make him extra pissed at me. I don't know how long today's show is going to be. I've been doing this for a couple hours now. I always say that and then I edit down the calls and it's just 30 minutes. But I think today's is going to be longer than 30 minutes. Anyway, I'm going to stop for now. Maybe I will return to this idea again later because I'm sure some more great ideas are going to come through on the Twitter and the Facebook. So thank you everybody for the ideas. Keep them coming. I will do this again, hopefully. Thank you, Giad, for the original idea of leaving things to people in my will. And thanks, Reggie, for this gigantic list of phone numbers that I've been dialing from. This is a pretty good list. Hey, Arby. Hey. It's the duelist. Hello. Hey, um, I, I was wondering, do you, do you do any uh, phone mobbing anymore? Not really. I remember listening to a couple of those shows, and they were hilarious. Yeah. Um, and then also... Those were the uh, days... Would you ever do like a public access like like call in or you like call in to phone mob like public access shows? That'd be fun. Uh, let me know. Butterfly kisses. Love the show. Bye. All right, bye. Yeah, we haven't done any phone mobs in quite a while now. I don't know if it's the best idea for me these days. It's me, Denver. Hey. So, um, it's been a long time. Long enough. Not long at all. It's been a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. Long enough for you to leave a two minute and 18 second long voicemail. I'm calling you on Mother's Day because I love you so much and you're my mother to phone pranking. Uh, I have some really bad news, Mom. All right, I got hurry in up. trouble because your voicemail hacking from years ago with the theaters works great today. Really? I called up the theater and I didn't listen to your number one rule. You have to block your number. Oh, shit. I left the theater a very long, detailed um, change in schedule, and I'm yeah. in a lot of trouble. So that sucks. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm disappointing you. I didn't listen to your number one rule. That's you all have right. To block the number. You're grounded. I didn't block my number. Okay. So. Yeah. Anyway, Mommy Brad. Sounds um, great. Bye. Leave a shorter voicemail next time. I read over the transcript. He's not really saying anything else other than that. I'm sure he's fine. And I'm really surprised if the movie theater answering machine thing still works. Because even 10 years ago when I was putting that PLA radio together about hacking theater answering machines, it was kind of hard to find a theater that still used an answering machine. They all switched over to Fandango and voicemail systems and stuff like that. Hey, look, it's another 2 minute and 40 second voicemail. Roy! I have an idea. Okay. How about... Oh, don't put me in the air. This is just for you. This isn't just for the air. You know. Why you don't put like... Ma oh. Maybe you should just email me your ideas that are not for the air and not put them on the voicemail number where I play all the voicemails on the you air. Know, let's say if I go to your page and I want to buy for like uh, 199 You know how you, you want us to be members? for uh, a month. Yeah, be a member. But how come you don't sell like they do, like uh, YouTube, you know, YouTube for songs? 
that you pay one ninety nine for each song. That you I don't know. Make. I guess I'm stupid. That you want to buy. You want to buy tracks of shows. Maybe I should just do that. Sell the entire Hobosode archive for ninety nine cents per track. That'd be one hundred and seventy nine bucks to listen to every Hobosode. I'd be a millionaire. All right, here's another really long voicemail. Hello, Mr. Steve Dave Drabel. Yep. Is this Mr. Steve Dave Drabel? This is Rico Rocks here coming at you live. All right, that was a great and opening. I just to say, really I got funny. I message you left me, Mr. Drabel. I didn't leave uh, you a message. Mr. Gerbil. All right, am- thanks for the voicemail. I'm really hating today's voicemails for some reason. Hey, Brad, just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, you probably don't want to play this on the show, so if oh. you're recording the show right now, you may want to stop listening later. But All right, all right, I'll just uh, you know delete your voicemail and not even listen to it. How's that? Show at snowplowshow.com. That's the place where you should send me personal messages. Hey, Cindy from... It's, a, uh, it's Cindy? I'll start again. It's Dave from Australia. I've got some major beef with Cindy from Dayton, Ohio. Oh, yeah, that's Cindy. You're a dumb bitch. Oh, Did come you on. Evidence in regards to the disappearance of John Bonet Ramsey? You need to call the FBI. No name you calling. You need to call Scotland, Scotland Yard. Yeah. You sit on the recent Cindy, call Scotland the Yard. Show that she's been raped and killed. The authorities actually don't know where John Bonet Ramsey is. She's still missing. What? She's presumed dead. But what? if you've got evidence, you need to call Scotland Yard or yeah. the FBI. Yeah, the FBI. Do that, Cindy. And don't call Cindy names. Come on. That's me. Hi, Brad. This is Right in Digital. So, uh, you hey. know that song by Kesha, like, I can't date a dude with a vag? Uh, that's how I feel about Doodle Cinema. Like, it takes all the fun and enjoyment out of going to see a movie, and I've largely lost oh, interest no. in going to see movies. Here theater. we go, digital versus film again. Uh, you know, my friend uh, Benjamin, he compared I'm having to flashbacks of San Jose. The Klingon, how they like, you know, the glory of combat and stuff. And I'm kind of like the same way as I just talk about the films I've seen. I was glorious and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, they took the screen at my uh, theater in Ontario. They made the screen half as big to accommodate digital projection. And then there's like Carmike Cinemas. They're the real reason I really didn't like it. Cause oh, it's like fucking so Carmike. Joker. I can talk about that later. but uh, I used to work for those motherfuckers. Nowadays, I take an interest in telephones. Like whenever I see like uh, pay phones, I'm just always like, oh my God, pay phone. And... And I like to listen to music, and uh, I've I've got all kinds of different speakers that I like to set up to listen to music through. Yeah. And I've got like I put on these speakers or those speakers depending on what mood I'm in. And I've got so much extra speakers stacked up in my hallway that it's blocking my internet signal. So now You're my like internet, a my wireless internet doesn't work as good. So it's like, oh god, you know. That, that sucks. Uh, just long ago. Goodbye. If only there was something you could do about that. Like maybe get rid of the speakers. That was suitcase guy, everyone from the San Jose meetings. He was actually nice enough to send me another copy of the CD that I lost somehow in San Jose. Or maybe I didn't lose it. Maybe it fell out of my bag. Maybe it's still sitting in my trunk. But I kind of think I left it behind in San Jose at the house. And I think I mentioned this on the previous show, but I did listen to it the other day. I was up in Portland. I listened to it on the way home from Portland. And it was a lot of fun to listen to. It had a bunch of prank calls on it. It had a bunch of Joy Bubbles stuff and phone freaking stuff on it. Inside, there is apparently a gigantic zine, probably talking about the evils of digital movie projectors. There's some PLA pranks on there, and I haven't read the thing inside of here yet, but I did enjoy the CD. In fact, uh, I'm sure I mentioned this on the previous show or maybe the show before, that that's what inspired me to put all of Joy Bubble's stuff up on the PLA T&I machine. You can listen to every episode of his show called Stories and Stuff, now by dialing 914-296-1862. I also hooked a couple more answering machines up to the system. If anyone wants to hack answering machines legally, instead of calling up random movie theaters and hacking their machines, which you shouldn't do. Hello, Roy. It's uh, Natalia Sarai again. Hey. Uh, noisy. I am at work. Sounds like you're ringing the Arby's bell. But, uh... Just wanted to say uh, you? about your um, involvement in uh, murdering John Benet Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you're like the number two or number three suspect, 
I firmly, firmly believe that her brother killed her. Uh, yeah. Work. Probably. Killed her because she was jealous. <coughs> wow. And the mom found out about it, and she tried to cover it up, which is why she wrote the rent note. Yep, yep. You her figured it out. Writing using her theme, uh, jargon. You should call the Boulder police immediately and give them your theories about the John Bonet Ramsey murder case. Maybe team up with Richard Cardo. You and him can figure it out and tell the police what idiots they are. Look what you did, Cindy. You've got everyone all riled up about the John Bonet Ramsey case. For dad, for dad, for dad, for dad. Hey. I, th- I think, uh, I, th- I think uh, that voicemail that you've got, Brad, is, it seems an old one. You need to get it updated now. Yeah. And I'm going to get a, news, a, a newspaper. I'm going to hit your nose and say no. Do it. And an else, Brad, accuse someone of farting if you phone up shop. Accuse someone of farting. Bye. Okay. I'm going to accuse someone of farting. So what happened with the PLA voicemail is Google decided to make it so you can't press a button to skip over the voicemail anymore like you used to be able to. Used to, you could just hit the pound key and skip ahead and not have to listen to the whole message. And then suddenly they decided to take that feature away for some reason. And people have been complaining about that for months now. And I was going to record a brand new message, but then I noticed that the old message is still there. So I just put the old message back up on the PLA voicemail. Fuck recording a new one. That's a lot of work. I don't want to do that. Hey, Brent. Hey. Uh, the song that SP Link was talking about, it's the Phone Trip song by Evan Dorba. Okay, oh, okay. Bye. The Phone Trips song by Evan Dorbell. I remember putting that on a show. That was quite a while ago. Maybe I'll play that again on today's show, right after we listen to one more voicemail. Brad Carter. Hey. Joe Buddy Chaos Cowboy calling in with another question. Yay. This time I won't be stupid. Okay. If you could roll the dice all over again and live your life from day one again, my friend, what would you choose to do? Would you choose to continue to be a felon uh, who lives his life from now on as essentially a slave laborer for our own amusement oh, come so on. you can pay off whatever your massive legal debt is. This is awesome. I'm enjoying this. Or would you choose to start over, start from scratch, and live a mediocre life as some sort of tech support uh, call center dude or something boring like that, gas station attendant? The choice is yours, but it really isn't because you're stuck doing what you're doing forever. Goodbye, Brad. That's true. I don't see why you think I'd have to be some tech support guy. I got to do something that I at least sort of enjoy. But maybe the part where I logged into the Safeway database, I might erase that from my past if possible. Because even though the whole thing is a hilarious story to tell, it really puts some restrictions on my freedoms for the next three and a half years. And that kind of sucks. But other than that, no regrets. I'm pretty happy with things. I don't know, there's a bunch of old cassette tapes I wish I hadn't deleted back in the 80s. I wish I still had those, but I had to go and record over them so I could have the entire Metallica collection. I hate myself for that one. I erase so many things. Anyway, that's the end of the voicemails. If you want to leave a voicemail, you can call 814-422-5309 and leave a message that is 30 seconds or less. Maybe 60 seconds if you have something really good to say. You know, I, I do need to re-record the voicemail thing. Maybe that's not clear enough in the old version. If you have something you want to get to me off the air, maybe email me, show at snowplowshow.com. The voicemail is where you can call and leave a message that will be played on the air. You can ask questions. You can leave comments. I highly recommend calling into the voicemail if you want to leave a voicemail that will be played on the air. A short voicemail. So thanks to the sponsors of today's show, Boca Recovery Center, six-week tenure, FOD87, Brennan, and Kuraz. You can support the show if you want to by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phonelosers.com slash cactus. Be sure to listen to the other shows I do, like Hang Up the Phone on phonelosers.com and Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls on worldofprankcalls.com. I just put up a new episode of Mr. Dabalina yesterday, and it's an episode about yard sales. It's a good one. You should listen to that. There's the Brad's Cactus Shack show at notla.com. And I don't know. I think that's it. I'm ending today's show with a song by Evan Doorbell. 
This is called the Phone Trips Song. And you can download this song by going to the show notes at snowplowshow.com and clicking on the link. Oh my god, tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> 